ठीक है वॉइस इज फाइन गुड इवनिंग ऑल ऑफ यू नाइस टू बी विथ यू अगेन Sorry to have kept you waiting for five six minutes. I just got occupied with some of your, uh, you know, friends who had come to seek guidance for the prelims exam. I mean the post prelims preparation. But a very good evening to all of you joining me. Good evening, Ashutosh. Good evening, Varsha. Good evening, Sheetal. I'm doing good, Ashutosh. Thank you. Good evening, Ajit. Production of service for self consumption is output, but the problem is it cannot be measured. so lack of measurement is the problem ajit good evening diljit good evening kamini good evening sambit very good evening mansi very good evening amar very good evening anwar very good evening manisha good evening disha government is giving free ration to people is an economic activity ajit it involves expenditure good evening pooja nice to see you uh yes lack of lack of uh you know proper utilization can be also a factor fair enough ajit uh good evening atmana happy evening sahil very good evening vaibhav good evening arpit good evening udit good evening yogita good evening deep uh, deep uh, desh deepak good evening suman good evening yuvraj good evening ankit good evening shraddha good evening shristi good evening aniket good evening akash good evening snehil good evening divya, uh, divya. good evening sapeksh Good evening Anurag good evening Rajkamal good evening Joshita sure Sheetal you can always uh, leave an email for me or you can come over to the institute any time for the guidance good uh, good evening Deepa good evening uh, Shivraj good evening Kavya good evening Anshulika good evening Atmana good evening Gautam good evening Lucifer good evening Tripti so good evening all of you I always mention you with your name because it makes me feel as if you are in front of me. So that's a habit I have. You bear with me. I know some of you would be feeling why does he take everybody's name, but that is my reason actually. Good evening, Udit. Good evening, Vini. So that is why I keep keep mentioning your name and messaging and and wishing you. So perfect. We can begin today. What we'll do is today we will go into some more discussions on microeconomics. So we will see some questions I am putting for you. You take it across. Good evening, Akash. Good evening, Rahul. Good evening, Rahul Shaikh. so uh the first thing is theory of demand that is what we start studying kuch cheeze padhte hain to pehli cheez hai theory of demand good evening divyansh theory of demand mein we talk like this demand is the quantity of a commodity that an individual is willing to purchase at a given price and given point of time ye demand ka ek definition hota hai aap definition likho aur fir main aapko ye explain karke batata hu a budget is a positive statement deepesh perfect ajit you can always meet me good evening shweta so <coughs> sorry according to the theory of demand demand is the quantity of a commodity that an individual is willing to purchase <coughs> sorry i'm sorry at a given price and a given point of time to so demand ye batata hai it's the quantity of a commodity kisi bhi commodity ke kitni quantity आप खरीदने को तैयार हो द कंज्यूमर इज विलिंग टू परचेज एट अ गिवन प्राइस एंड अ गिवन पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम किसी भी टाइम पर किसी भी प्राइस पर आप एक क्वांटिटी कितनी खरीदना चाहते हो वो बताता है आपका डिमांड आपकी मांग सो वट एवर यू आर डिमांडिंग वट एवर यू आर विलिंग टू परचेज एट अ गिवन प्राइस एंड अ गिवन पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम दैट इज कॉल्ड डिमांड नाउ 
connected to demand is what is called law of demand. We say according to the law of demand as price of a commodity increases quantity demanded decreases and as price of a commodity decreases quantity demanded increases assuming all other factors affecting demand remain constant. This is the law of demand that according to the law of demand as price of a commodity increases, quantity demanded decreases and as price of a commodity decreases, quantity demanded increases assuming all other factors affecting demand remain constant. तो लॉ ऑफ डिमांड के हिसाब से हम ये देखते हैं कि अगर प्राइस एक कमोडिटी का बढ़ता है तो हम उसकी डिमांड कम कर देते हैं और अगर एक कमोडिटी का प्राइस कम होता है तो हम उसकी डिमांड बढ़ा देते हैं व्हेन प्राइस ऑफ अ कमोडिटी इंक्रीजेस वी रिड्यूस द डिमांड एंड व्हेन प्राइस ऑफ अ कमोडिटी फॉल्स वी इंक्रीज द डिमांड फॉर अ सिंपल रीजन दैट एज कमोडिटी बिकम्स कॉस्टलीयर I sacrifice more of my satisfaction by paying high for it. So I rather prefer buying less of it. जैसे एक commodity का price बढ़ता है तो पैसे देने में ज़्यादा satisfaction जा रहे हैं मेरे compared to जो satisfaction मिल रहा है उस commodity को खरीदने से तो मैं prefer करता हूँ कि मैं उसे कम ही खरीदूँ और मैं अपनी demand कम कर देता हूँ Again, the idea is that if we can apply this law of demand, the thinking is this. that if i take price and i take quantity demanded price and quantity demanded to ek example de raha hu and these numbers are selected by me that if price rises from 10 to 20 to 30 Demand will fall from 100 to 70 to 50. Again, these numbers I have chosen. The only link is as price becomes more, demand becomes less. The only link is as price becomes more, demand becomes less. That is the only link of it. That as price becomes more from 10 to 20, 20 to 30, demand falls from 100 to 70, 70 to 50. You know that is the idea of as price becomes more, demand becomes less. that is the basic idea of it that as price becomes more demand becomes less so that is the that is the bottom line of it i repeat again a basic idea of it that jaise price badha hamari quantity demanded thodi kam ho gayi as price becomes more quantity demanded becomes less so we say that as price rises 10 to 20 20 to 30 demand falls 100 to 70 70 to 50 that is the basic idea again that as price rises demand falls and that is how it goes please understand this also you know please understand this also that if i try drawing the demand curve then socho agar main yahan rakhu quantity demanded aur yahan rakhu price then in that case as price rises from 10 to 20 to 30 think at 10 rupees i am buying 100 units at 20 rupees i am buying 70 units 
and at 30 rupees I am buying 50 units. ये मेरे combinations हैं price और quantity के. अगर मैं इन combinations को join कर दूँ, तो जो curve बनेगा, उसे demand curve कहते हैं. This is the demand curve. The combinations of price and quantity represented by demand curve. So, you know, so when this table is presented in a graphical form, it gives you the demand curve. When this table is presented in the graphical form, it gives you the demand curve. So, when you talk about demand curve, it only says Demand curve represents relation between price and quantity demanded when price rises. and demand falls it is called contraction of demand and there is upward movement on demand curve something like this see price rises from 20 to 30 demand falls from 70 to 50 upward movement on the demand curve or is diya contraction of demand all right so when price rises and demand falls it is called contraction of demand and there is upward movement on the demand curve. Good evening Malik Arjun. Yes Anurag, you are right, price is inversely related to demand, right Varun? I will explain it uh, Abhishek, do not worry. It is a good sign Anurag, uh, those of you who are not getting doubt, it is always a very good sign. Good evening Astha, good evening Satyam. Good evening Sachin, good evening Manisha, good evening Barsha, good evening Shreya, good evening Bhavna. Yes, I will do agricultural portion with you Jaydeep, I will be doing it. Good evening Jaydeep, good evening Bhupesh, good evening Harsh. I will teach you micro and macro economics Yuvraj, do not worry, I will bring that across. Good evening Anisha, good evening Keshav, good evening. Okay. So, so, coming back to this, my point again, demand curve represents, you know, the relation between price and quantity demanded. If price becomes more and due to that demand falls, when price rises and demand falls, it is called contraction of demand and there is upward movement on demand curve. Again, fact ki tarah dimag mein rakho, exam mein exactly yehi baat pooch lete hai. Just remember it like fact. In the exam, they will exactly push you on these things. Similarly, similarly, a decrease in price will lead to downward movement on demand curve with rise in quantity demanded
and it is called expansion of demand. You know this is called expansion of demand. So, fall in price, fall in price will lead to expansion of demand, rise in price will lead to contraction of demand, fall in price will lead to expansion of demand, rise in price will lead to contraction of demand. Agar price badha or price badhne ki wajah se quantity demanded kam hui, jaise price 20 rupees se badhkar 30 ho gaya aur demand 70 units se ghatkar 50 ho gai, to ise contraction of demand kehte hai aur ye hume graph par dikhta hai with upward movement on yellow arrow ko dekho, with upward movement on demand curve. Aise hi agar price kam hone ki wajah se demand badh gaya, तो इसका मतलब एक्सपेंशन ऑफ डिमांड है क्योंकि अब डिमांड बढ़ रहा है तो ये दिखता है डाउनवर्ड मूवमेंट ऑन द डिमांड कर्व सो इफ प्राइस राइजेस एंड ड्यू टू दैट डिमांड फॉल्स दैट इज अपवर्ड मूवमेंट ऑन द डिमांड कर्व एंड दैट इज कॉल्ड कॉन्ट्रैक्शन ऑफ डिमांड इफ प्राइस फॉल्स एंड ड्यू टू दैट डिमांड राइजेस देन देयर इज डाउनवर्ड मूवमेंट ऑन द डिमांड कर्व एंड दैट इज कॉल्ड कॉन्ट्रैक्शन और एक्सपेंशन ऑफ डिमांड so upward movement on demand curve contraction this 70 to 50 this is contraction and this 70 to 100 due to fall in price is expansion just remember the name demand badha kyunki price kam hui expansion demand kam hua kyunki price badhi contraction just that name is, is enough demand falls due to price rise contraction demand rises due to price fall expansion just that name will be sufficient again any price increase will affect demand sunil radhika think like this if next is charges 5 lakh rupees fees then people will take less admission here that is a real life example of how when demand price rises demand will fall i hope radhika you get the point we assume it like that Abhishek because that is not a concern actually. Good evening Nitin. I hope Diljeet you got the point that when price decreases and quantity increases you will move like this on the demand curve expansion of demand. Okay. But then remember ye sari baat is baat ko soch kar ho rahi hai that all other factors affecting demand are constant. We are assuming that price badne ke saath demand kam, uh, kam ho jayega ya price kam hone ke saath demand bad jayega is baat ke wajah se kyun humne assume kiya hai ki baaki ke jo factors hain demand ko affect karte hue wo constant hai we are assuming that all other factors affecting demand are constant and then saying that price and demand are inversely related to each other but then remember there are factors other than price of the commodity which will affect demand i am coming to that now so now we talk about factors other than price of commodity affecting demand know factors other than price of commodity affecting demand. Akash do not go into that these are 12th standard things demand and quantity demanded just do not go into that they, in 12th standard books they say that quantity demanded is due to price and demand is due to other factors but UPSC will never ask you that. A uh, demand curve koi zaruri nahi hai ki linear ho hamesha mandeep lekin mein jaan bujh ke linear ke saath work kar raha hoon taaki humare diagrams asaan rahe. It is not necessary that demand curve will be linear, but I am deliberately using linear curves to keep the demand, the diagram simple. Alright. Inflation is a different thing Akash, inflation is rate of change in price. So, at the moment price is changing, so inflation cannot be constant. Okay. Now, see the first factor affecting demand is income of the consumer.
the first factor affecting demand is income of the consumer all right the first factor affecting demand is income of the consumer so in this there are two categories one is normal goods yahan logic bada simple sa hai if income of the consumer rises and demand for commodity also rises and if income of the consumer falls and demand for commodity also falls it is called normal good jaise aap ice cream khate ho income badh gayi zyada ice cream khane lage इनकम कम हो गई कम खाने लगे आप क्लोथ्स पहनते हो इनकम बढ़ गई आप कॉस्टलीयर क्लोथ्स पहनने लगे कम हो गई कम कॉस्टली पहनने लगे तो ये टिपिकल चीज़ें हैं विच आर नॉर्मल गुड्स मोटरसाइकिल दैट दैट वी आर ड्राइव से कार दैट वी आर ड्राइविंग एज इनकम राइजेज वी कैन बाय अ न्यू कार इट बिकम्स अ नॉर्मल गुड एज इनकम राइजेज वी कैन बाय अ लग्जरी क्लोथ्स इट कैन बिकम अ नॉर्मल गुड तो जिस भी कमोडिटी और ये इंडिविजुअल्स पे है एक इंडिविजुअल हर इंडिविजुअल का नॉर्मल गुड अलग अलग हो सकता है इट डिपेंड्स ऑन इंडिविजुअल प्रेफरेंसेस सो एवरी इंडिविजुअल्स नॉर्मल गुड्स कैन बी सेपरेट थिंग्स सो एज इनकम ऑफ एन इंडिविजुअल राइजेस एंड डिमांड फॉर द कंज्यू ऑफ द फॉर द कमोडिटी राइजेस एंड एज इनकम ऑफ द कंज्यूमर फॉल्स एंड डिमांड फॉर कमोडिटी फॉल्स देन वी कॉल इट अ नॉर्मल गुड अगर इनकम बढ़ने के साथ डिमांड बढ़ जाए प्राइस में बेशक कोई चेंज ना आए अगर इनकम कम होने के साथ डिमांड कम हो जाए प्राइस में बेशक कोई चेंज ना आए तो हम ऐसे कमोडिटीज को कहते हैं नॉर्मल गुड इफ इनकम ऑफ द कंज्यूमर राइजेस एंड डिमांड राइजेस इफ इनकम ऑफ द कंज्यूमर फॉल्स एंड डिमांड फॉल्स सच थिंग्स इज व्हाट वी कॉल नॉर्मल गुड नाउ प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड द सेकंड पार्ट इज इंफीरियर गुड अब इंफीरियर गुड का मतलब यह नहीं होता कि उनकी क्वालिटी खराब है इट इज नॉट नेसेसरी that an inferior good will be of poor quality it may be of poor quality it may not be of poor quality to ye zaruri nahi ki inferior goods ki quality buri ho ye puri quality ke bhi ho sakte hain aur nahi bhi ho sakte so it is not necessary that in inferior goods are of bad quality or good quality but what happens is when we say inferior goods these are all those goods whose demand increases with fall in price with fall in income and whose demand decreases विथ राइज इन इनकम ये उल्टा होता है अगर इनकम बढ़ने के साथ डिमांड कम हो जाए और इनकम कम होने के साथ डिमांड बढ़ जाए तो ऐसे कमोडिटीज को कहते हैं इंफीरियर गुड्स इफ डिमांड राइज विथ फॉल इन इनकम अब जैसे मैं एग्जाम्पल देता हूं मान लो कोई इंडिविजुअल है और ये इनकम इनकी कम हो गई अब बढ़ गई तो अगर इनकम इनकी बढ़ गई तो इसका मतलब मान लो ये उसके बाद अपना मोटरसाइकिल uh, चलाते थे मोटरसाइकिल छोड़ के गाड़ी खरीद ली देन मोटरसाइकिल बिकम्स एन इंफीरियर गुड सपोज देर इज एन इंडिविजुअल एंड दैट इंडिविजुअल्स इनकम बिकम्स मोर एंड दिस इंडिविजुअल वाज अर्लियर राइडिंग अ मोटरसाइकिल दिस इंडिविजुअल नाउ टेक्स अ न्यू कार 
So car becomes a normal good and motorcycle becomes an inferior good. It doesn't mean that motorcycle is a bad quality good. It simply means that the person has now become richer and since the person has become richer, the person is buying a commodity and leaving the other commodity. Similarly, suppose somebody was taking his tea in a roadside restaurant. The person's income increased and the person now takes tea in a five-star hotel. Again, roadside restaurant will become inferior service. Agar koi chai dhawe pe peete the, income bad gai, hotel mein peene lage, dhawa jo hai, wo inferior service ban gaya. So, if your income becomes more and you leave a commodity and buy a new type of commodity, the commodity that you stop buying becomes inferior. The commodity that you stop buying may not necessarily be bad in quality, but your income has increased and now you are buying more of the other commodity. So, jab income badne ke baad, aap kisi cheez ki demand kam kar dete ho, aur income kam hone par, aap kisi cheez ki demand badha dete ho, to ise hi kehte hain inferior good. When you increase the demand of a commodity, due to decrease in income, and when you decrease the demand for a commodity with increase in income, that is what you call inferior good. So please keep it in mind when we say normal good and when we say inferior good. You know, when we say normal good and when we say inferior good. The basic idea is normal goods are all those goods which are bought more with rise in income, bought less with fall in income. Inferior goods are all those goods which are bought more with fall in income and bought less with rise in income. So, jab bhi aapki income badne par aap koi cheez ka demand kam kar do, wo inferior. Aur jab bhi income badne par aap kisi cheez ki demand badha do, normal. Alright, so let's keep it like that in mind. A rise in income, if demand rises, normal. If rise in income, demand falls, inferior. Fall in income, demand falls, normal. Fall in income, demand rises, inferior. Again I repeat, inferior ka matlab koi zaruri nahi ki ye bad quality good ho. Inferior simply means that this is a commodity or this is a good that is not purchased now because the consumer can purchase something else which the consumer considers better. Consumer ab kuch aur kharid rahe hain jise consumer better maante hain to is liye aisa ho gaya. Yes Arpit, normal and inferior goods will vary from person to person. No doubt. Uh, Satyam, we will discuss it. Cost is expenditure of the firm. Price is what people pay in the market. Good evening, Millie. Happy evening, Shreya. I am getting your messages now actually. I see these messages are from 6567, but these are reaching me now. Good evening, Vishal. Abhishek, I hope it is clear to you now. Yes. Uh, okay, Praveen, but even in necessary goods as your income rises, some type of qualitative change is always observed, even in necessary goods. As income falls, think Anurag, somebody taking, taking, riding a car, income falls, they sell the car and shift to a rickshaw that becomes an inferior good. You see that? So, as income falls, the demand will, uh, you know, decrease. As income rises, demand will increase. Uh, no Keshav, do not use that. All right. And inferior goods, a malo, abhi koi bhot ameer hai. I am giving you an example of fall in income, increase in demand. Somebody is very rich and buying commodity from a five-star hotel and then the person becomes, the person has less income, the demand from five-star hotel will fall with the fall in income, uh, and, but the demand for roadside hotel can rise. So, this is fall in income leading to rise in demand. That is how you have to think about it. I hope uh, Anurag, you get the example. Okay. Then, you know, there is another factor. I am taking you into that. The third factor, this is price of related goods. So, the first or A in this is substitute goods.
द फर्स्ट वन वी टेक इज सब्सटीट्यूट गुड्स सब्सटीट्यूट गुड्स होते हैं द डेफिनेशन ऑफ सब्सटीट्यूट गुड्स इज ऑल दोज गुड्स विच कैन बी यूज इन प्लेस ऑफ वन अनदर ऑल दोज गुड्स विच कैन बी यूज इन प्लेस ऑफ वन अनदर दे आर कॉल्ड सब्सटीट्यूट गुड्स ऑल दोज गुड्स विच कैन बी यूज इन प्लेस ऑफ वन अनदर वो सारे गुड्स जो एक दूसरे की जगह पे यूज हो सके उन्हें कहते हैं सब्सटीट्यूट गुड्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल टी एंड कॉफी पेप्सी एंड कोक बटर एंड चीज एक्सेट्रा तो जो भी दो कमोडिटीज एक दूसरे के जगह पे यूज हो सके यू नो दे आर कॉल्ड सब्सटीट्यूट गुड ऑल दोज कमोडिटीज विच कैन बी यूज इन प्लेस ऑफ वन अनदर दे आर कॉल्ड सब्सटीट्यूट गुड्स नाउ यू नो वॉट हैपन्स इफ प्राइस ऑफ a substitute good say for example pepsi increases then demand for the other commodity say for example coke increases agar pepsi ka price badh gaya to log pepsi kam kharidne lag jayenge aur use substitute karne lag jayenge coke se if price of pepsi becomes more then people will start buying less of pepsi and they will start substituting it by coke so as price of pepsi increases demand for coke will also increase as price of pepsi increases demand for coke will also increase to agar pepsi ka price badh jayega to log use substitute karne lag jayenge coke se aur uski wajah se coke ka demand badh jayega bhale hi coke ka price wahi rahe so even with same price of coke demand for coke can rise if price of pepsi rises so if price of a substitute good increases then demand for the other commodity increases so price of pepsi increases demand for coke increases so you know what you have to remember is that whenever you see in the market that price of a given commodity is rising you know to uske substitute ka maza ho raha hai fir if the price of pepsi is rising coke is having nice time because people will then demand more coke similarly if price price of colgate is rising then pepsodent will have a nice time people will demand more pepsodent so that is the idea that when price of a substitute good rises demand for the other commodity increases and you know uh, there is the other way round is also true if price of a substitute good decreases if price of the substitute good decreases then demand for the other commodity also decreases अगर पेप्सी चीपर हो गई तो लोग पेप्सी ज्यादा खरीदने लग गए तो कोक का डिमांड थोड़ा कम हो गया इफ पेप्सी बिकम्स चीपर देन पीपल स्टार्ट बाइंग मोर पेप्सी एंड डिमांड फॉर कोक बिकम्स लेसर सो इफ प्राइस ऑफ द सब्सटीट्यूट गुड राइजेस पीपल विल डिमांड मोर ऑफ द अदर गुड इफ प्राइस ऑफ द सब्सटीट्यूट गुड फॉल्स पीपल विल डिमांड लेस ऑफ द अदर गुड दैट इज द बेसिक आइडिया बिहाइंड प्राइस ऑफ सब्सटीट्यूट गुड देन among price of related goods there is another type of commodity among price of related goods there is another price type of commodity 
that is called complementary goods. If price of Okay, so before taking you into price, I am sorry for this, I will tell you complementary goods are all those goods which have to be used together, Con complementary goods are all those goods which have to be used together to satisfy a given want or requirement. For example, bat and ball, pen and ink, say tea and sugar, etc. जब आपको दो चीजें एक साथ इस्तेमाल करनी पड़ेंगी अपने सेटिस्फैक्शन को बढ़ाने के लिए तो आप ऐसे दोनों चीजों को कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री गुड्स कहते हो व्हेन यू यूज टू कमोडिटीज टुगेदर इन ऑर्डर टू इंप्रूव योर सेटिस्फैक्शन देन सच टू कमोडिटीज विल बी कॉल्ड कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री गुड्स सो वी से ऑल दोस गुड्स व्हिच हैव टू बी यूज्ड टुगेदर टू सेटिस्फाई अ गिवन वांट और रिक्वायरमेंट फॉर एग्जांपल बैट एंड बॉल pen and ink tea and sugar bread and jam they will be called complementary goods now remember isme kya hoga agar complementary good ka price badha you know if price of a complement say for example bread increases then demand for other good say butter decreases if price of a complement example bread increases then demand for other good say butter decreases agar bread ka price bad gaya तो कमोडिटी ज्यादा ब्रेड की फिर डिमांड कम हो जाएगी और अगर लोग ब्रेड कम डिमांड करेंगे तो बटर भी कम डिमांड करेंगे इफ प्राइस ऑफ ब्रेड राइजेस पीपल विल डिमांड लेस ऑफ ब्रेड एंड इफ पीपल विल डिमांड लेस ऑफ ब्रेड दे विल डिमांड लेस ऑफ बटर इफ प्राइस ऑफ द कमोडिटी राइजेस पीपल विल डिमांड लेस ऑफ द कमोडिटी सो ऑब्वियसली पीपल विल डिमांड लेस ऑफ इट्स कॉम्प्लीमेंट अगर एक कमोडिटी का प्राइस बढ़ता है तो लोग उसे कम डिमांड करेंगे जिसके वजह से उसकी जो कॉम्प्लीमेंट है उसकी भी डिमांड कम हो जाएगी सो दैट इज द आइडिया ऑफ कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री गुड्स दैट इज द आइडिया ऑफ कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री गुड्स ऑल राइट दैट इज द बेसिक आइडिया ऑफ कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री गुड्स कार एंड पेट्रोल वाई नॉट नो भावना इट डजेंट हैपन एवरी टाइम you know so sometimes it is possible that the price rises and the others don't raise their price all right that is that is the idea yes correct jyoti you are right no 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 inferior and normal is with respect to income mayank in this case we are not discussing income why not anurag bikano and haldiram are substitute correct arpit why not you can write that namaste saurav Yes, demand increases due to income increase. Is in case of inferior goods, right, Kamini? Perfect, Pragati. So, right, Manisha, car and petrol. Okay, perfect. So, I believe we are clear till here. And obviously, the other way round will go. That if price of a complementary good decreases, then demand for the other good will increase. If bread's price is reduced, then butter's demand will increase. 
then you know there is a third factor that affects demand that third factor is tastes and preferences there is a third factor that affects demand that third factor is tastes and preferences of the consumer of course so we say if tastes and preferences if tastes and preferences change favorably then it increases demand and if tastes and preferences change unfavorably then it decreases demand advertisements ka main purpose hi yahi hota hai ki wo taste and preferences bana sake you know advertisements are uh, are for this that they can make you improve your tastes and preferences so if tastes and preferences improve agar tastes and preferences favorable hue demand will rise if tastes and preferences become unfavorable demand will fall good evening mehraj uh yes tarishi to some extent they can be rahul last year they asked a question in the prelims from this part only they said what all factors will result in raising demand in the market and then they gave you options like fall in price of the commodity increase in price of complementary goods decrease in price of substitute goods and then they asked you whether 1 and 3 is correct 1 and 2 is correct 2 and 3 is correct so that is how they ask you questions in the exam that they will ask you a situation पिछले साल ही उन्होंने पूछा था कि क्या फैक्टर्स हैं जो डिमांड को इंक्रीज कर देते हैं और फिर आपको यहां से टेस्ट करेंगे वो कि अगर प्राइस ऑफ कमोडिटी बढ़ती है अगर इनकम ऑफ कंज्यूमर कम होता है इस तरह से चेक करेंगे तो जो भी फैक्टर्स डिमांड को बढ़ाते हैं फिर वो आपको चूज करना होता है दैट इफ प्राइस ऑफ इफ इफ वेन दे आस्क यू वट आर द फैक्टर्स दैट विल इंक्रीज डिमांड एंड देन दे आस्क यू दैट ए इज इट ड्यू टू दे गिव यू वन स्टेटमेंट decrease in price of commodity they give you second statement increase in income of the consumer for a normal good they give you third statement decrease in price of substitute good and they give you fourth statement decrease in price of complementary goods to yahan answer hoga 1 2 and 4 because decrease in price of substitute goods will not lead to increase in demand to increase in demand sirf kyun hoga when price falls for the commodity when income of the consumer rises for a normal good or income of the consumer falls for an inferior good when price of substitute good rise, rises and when price of complementary good falls or tastes and preferences change favorably so they test whether you remember these points and then they ask you the question 2021 prelims they had asked this question same thing tarun if tomorrow the price of commodity becomes 1000 rupees even of salt you will not be buying the same amount I hope Tarun, you get the point. Different goods are different, Ashi. We will say discuss them separately. Correct, Sahil. You got it right. Okay. Now remember one thing. We say that when demand. for a commodity changes due to factors other than price other than its price then 
it results in shift of demand curve and it is called increase in demand if demand rises and decrease in demand if demand falls. Try understanding this. अगर एक कमोडिटी की डिमांड इसलिए चेंज करती है क्योंकि उसका प्राइस तो सेम है लेकिन दूसरे फैक्टर्स बदल गए जैसे मैं तुम्हें एक एग्जांपल दे रहा हूं सपोज करो ये आपका डिमांड कर्व है और इस प्राइस पर आप पहले इतनी क्वांटिटी डिमांड कर रहे थे सपोज 100 यूनिट्स एट टेन रुपीज प्राइस अभी टेन रुपीज पर आप ज्यादा खरीदने लग गए हंड्रेड यूनिट्स योर डिमांड कर्व विल शिफ्ट टू द राइट All right, that is called increase in demand. अगर आप सेम प्राइस पे ज्यादा खरीदने लग गए क्योंकि आपकी इनकम बढ़ गई या प्राइस ऑफ सब्सिट्यूट गुड बढ़ गया या प्राइस ऑफ कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री गुड कम हो गया अगर ऐसी कोई भी बात हो रही है तो उस केस में आप कहते हो डिमांड कर विल शिफ्ट टू द राइट इट इज इंक्रीज इन डिमांड इफ योर डिमांड राइजेस एट द सेम प्राइस ड्यू टू फैक्टर्स अदर देन प्राइस ऑफ द कमोडिटी लाइक राइज इन इनकम ऑफ द कंज्यूमर rise in price of complement uh, substitute goods fall in price of complementary goods or improvement in taste and preferences then we say that the demand curve shifts to the right and this is increase in demand so this is a representation of increase in demand yahan price same hai demand badh gaya aur aise hi agar same price pe demand kam ho jaye you know if at the same price demand becomes less you know that is because of again the same factors if income of the consumer becomes more for an inferior good you know so suppose if the demand falls from 100 to 80 at the same price 10 this is decrease in demand to jab price ke alawa dusre factors ki wajah se demand badh jaye उसे कहते हैं इंक्रीज इन डिमांड और डिमांड कर्व राइटवर्ड शिफ्ट करता है और जब प्राइस के अलावा दूसरे फैक्टर्स की वजह से डिमांड कम पड़ जाए तो उसे कहते हैं डिक्रीज इन डिमांड एंड डिमांड कर्व लेफ्टवर्ड शिफ्ट करता है आई रिपीट माई सेल्फ इन इंग्लिश व्हेन प्राइस राइजेस एंड व्हेन प्राइस रिमेन सेम एंड डिमांड राइजेस ड्यू टू फैक्टर्स अदर देन प्राइस दैट इज कॉल्ड इंक्रीज इन डिमांड लाइक इनकम ऑफ द कंज्यूमर राइजेस price of related goods change and so on similarly if price falls a uh, price remains same <coughs> and demand decreases due to other factors that is called decrease in demand so this is again a basic idea that you should keep in mind yes bikano and haldiram are brands but they are selling two different brands no again they are two different commodities as we can take them anjali that is not needed don't worry at all you keep following what we are doing uh, i am maybe a more practical thing uh, you know analysis of syllabus doesn't give you one mark in the paper it is rather better i'm honestly telling you uh, like you ask me to discuss the paper, syllabus or analyze the syllabus the analysis of syllabus of economy will not give you one mark in prelims or optional i believe it's a perfect way of not using the time good so a better way to use time is i keep teaching you and along with that you will keep improving your economy and gradually you will see that that you will be able to answer the questions syllabus discuss karne se time pass ho jata hai bas lekin natija kuch nahi aata to meri baat mano dhyan lagao ki kya baatein hum pad rahe hain unko acche se samajh lo agar tum sari baat samajh loge main tumhe pure assurance se bolta hu exam mein tumhara ek question miss nahi hoga if you are able to answer everything with all assurance you will not miss a single question in the exam हाँ प्राइस हमेशा वाई एक्सेस पे होता है राइट सुरेश कार एंड पेट्रोल इज कॉम्प्लीमेंट 
Okay. Then I take you further. So this is again another example. So this is on demand that you needed to know. Law of demand, what is demand, factors affecting demand other than price of the commodity, that is income of the consumer, price of substitute goods, price of complementary goods and tastes and preferences. Then if demand changes due to factors other than price, shift of demand curve. There are two major exceptions to the law of demand. Bahut sare exceptions hain, but there are two major exceptions. Apwaad hain ye law of demand ke. You know, ke jahan law of demand operate nahi karta. Two major exceptions to the law of demand. DD is for demand. Two major exceptions to the law of demand. And I repeat, DD is demand. First is, jine kaha jata hai, Giffen goods. These are very poor quality inferior goods whose demand rises as price rises because people suspect an emergency and start buying it more and demand falls as price falls because people buy less of it to save their expenditure and use the resource for better commodities. I will explain this to you. These are these goods were discovered by an economist called Robert Giffen. Ye jo goods the इनके बारे में रॉबर्ट गिफिन ने थ्योरी दी तो इसीलिए इनका नाम गिफिन गुड्स रख दिया गया दीज गुड्स वर डिस्कवर्ड बाय एन इकोनॉमिस्ट कॉल्ड सर रॉबर्ट गिफिन एंड देयर फोर दे वर कॉल्ड गिफिन गुड्स सो दीज गिफिन गुड्स आर वेरी पुअर क्वालिटी इंफीरियर कमोडिटीज जैसे मैं तुम्हें एक एग्जाम्पल देता हूँ सपोज एक रिक्शे वाले हैं और ये राशन शॉप से राइस खरीद रहे हैं और ये राइस की क्वालिटी बहुत बेकार है से राइस में कंकड़ ज़्यादा और राइस कम है बट बेचारे के पास कोई चारा नहीं उनके पास और पैसे नहीं है तो ये राशन शॉप से ही राइस खरीद रहे हैं और ये राइस मान लो तीन रुपए पर केजी है सो आई रिपीट माई सेल्फ इन इंग्लिश इफ सपोज देर इज़ अ रिक्शा वाला एंड दिस पर्सन इज़ वेरी पुअर एंड ही बाईज राइस फ्राम द राशन शॉप द राइस हैज़ मोर पेबल्स दैन राइस इन इट बट द फेलो डजेंट हैव अ वे आउट एंड दिस राइस इज़ फॉर थ्री रुपीज़ पर के the person keeps buying it and say the person buys 20 kg of rice in a month and eats it up and doesn't buy anything else so the person is spending 60 rupees on rice if the price of rice rises this rice itne ghatiya rice ka bhi daam jab badhne lagega the rickshaw wala will think that there must be an emergency in the economy due to which even this quality rice is rising in value you know rickshaw wala sochenge ki bhai kuch emergency aayi hai कि इतने घटिया चीज़ का दाम भी बढ़ रहा है इससे पहले कि ये ज़्यादा बढ़े इसे और खरीद के स्टोर कर लो बिफोर इट राइज फर्दर लेट्स बाई इट एंड स्टोर इट सो इन दैट केस एज प्राइस राइजेज द डिमांड विल राइज 
in that case as price rises the demand will rise. Similarly, please understand this, similarly as price falls demand will fall also. You know why? Something like this will happen. So, as price falls say from 3 rupees to 2 rupees, now the rickshawala realizes that if I buy 20 kg, I am saving 20 rupees. Pehle mein 60 rupees kharch karta tha, ab mujhe 40 hi karne padenge, agar mein same rice bhi khari do. Aur ye ghatiya quality rice ka hai. To agar mein isko 10 kg aur kam kar do, if I reduce it by another 10 kg, it will mean that I will have to spend at 2 rupees a kg, I will have to spend only 20 rupees on this. I will save 40 rupees compared to what I was, what I was spending earlier and that 40 rupees can be used to buy vegetables, to buy fruits, to buy nutritious commodities and that is what will result in reducing the demand for commodity when price falls. I will repeat it again. जब ये प्राइस गिरते देखेंगे तो ये सोचेंगे मैं 20 किलो चावल खरीदता हूं और 3 रुपए पर किलो पे मेरे 60 रुपए खर्च होते हैं अगर 2 रुपए पर किलो हो जाए और मैं 20 किलो की जगह 10 किलो खरीदूं तो मेरे 20 रुपए खर्च होंगे मेरे 40 रुपए बच जाएंगे और इन 40 रुपए में मैं फल दाल सब्जी ऐसा कोई चीज खरीद सकता हूं जो बेटर क्वालिटी का है सो दैट इज द रीजन व्हाई इन केस ऑफ इनफी डिफिन गुड्स व्हेन प्राइस राइजेस डिमांड राइजेस एंड व्हेन प्राइस फॉल्स डिमांड false that is the logic of given goods and they are to be remembered as an exception to the law of demand to make exam point of view se kya yaad rakhna hai given goods ke case mein price bada demand bada price kam hua demand kam hua so given goods have to be remembered as an exception to the law of demand given goods have to be remembered as an exception to the law of demand please keep that in mind Okay, Sakshi, to some extent they were. Demand curve will shift, Alok. Praveen, if you feel interested, you can go for it. Increase in inflation will reduce the rise in demand, Rakesh. All right, as I yaad rakhoge. inflation matlab price rise hota hai. So, if inflation rises, demand will fall. All right. Then I take the story further, there is another exception to the law of demand, second that is called Veblen goods. Ek aur tarah ki commodity law of demand ki exception hai, jise kehte hai Veblen goods. To ab ye Veblen goods kya hai? All those goods which are used as conspicuous consumption conspicuous conspicuous consumption ka matlab hota hai for showing off richness so all those goods which are used for conspicuous consumption conspicuous consumption is for showing off richness अपने पैसे दिखाने के लिए जब आप कमोडिटी खरीदते हो उसे वेबलन गुड्स कहते हैं अगेन लॉजिक वही है इसको ढूंढ एक्सप्लेन करने वाले इकोनॉमिस्ट का नाम था थॉमस वेबलन सो ऑल दोज गुड्स विच आर यूज्ड एज कॉन्स्पिक्यूअस कंजम्पशन दे आर दे रिप्रेजेंट वेबलन गुड्स जैसे फॉर एग्जाम्पल डायमंडस फॉर एग्जाम्पल से से कॉस्टली फर्नीचर एक्सेट्रा सो इन दिस केस अगेन इफ प्राइस राइजेस पीपल फील ओ दिस इज समथिंग दैट ओनली रिच बाय आई शुड बाय मोर ऑफ इट व्हेन प्राइस फॉल्स पीपल फील ओ दिस इज नॉट फॉर द रिच दे बाय लेस ऑफ इट तो इनका इनका डिमांड इसलिए ज्यादा होता है प्राइस के साथ क्योंकि लोग ये सोचते हैं कि ये अमीरों के खरीदने की चीज है तो और ज्यादा खरीद लेते हैं और जब इनका दाम घटता है इनकी इंपॉर्टेंस खत्म हो जाती है सो इफ एज देयर प्राइस राइजेस देयर इंपॉर्टेंस बिकम्स मोर एज पीपल कनेक्ट देम टू कमोडिटीज दैट आर बॉट बाय द रिच एंड एज देयर प्राइस फॉल्स पीपल बाय लेस ऑफ इट एज पीपल कनेक्ट देम टू कमोडिटीज दैट आर बॉट बाय द पुअर सो दैट इज और नॉट बाय द रिच सो दैट इज व्हाई दे आर वेबलन गुड्स 
कि जो कमोडिटी शो ऑफ के लिए खरीदे गए उस केस में उनका डिमांड इसलिए बढ़ता है क्योंकि वो कॉस्टली हैं और अग, और अगर इनका प्राइस कम हो जाए किसी कारण से तो इनका डिमांड भी कम हो जाएगा सो सच कमोडिटीज़ आर कॉल्ड वेबल एंड गुड्स दीज आर द टू एक्सेप्शंस टू द लॉ ऑफ डिमांड दीज आर द टू एक्सेप्शंस टू द लॉ ऑफ डिमांड काइंडली कीप दैट इन माइंड करेक्ट सौरभ दे आर एक्सट्रीमली पुअर क्वालिटी इंफीरियर गुड्स Giffen is based on thoughts again. They are individuals' uh, uh, you know, definition. Uh, remember, coarse grains are not bought by the rich. The rich buy qual. I mean, you know, those those uh, operational coarse grains, which are not the real coarse grains. Always remember that. Okay, Pra, uh, you know, Praveen, uh, uh, Aniket, correct, right examples. okay now remember this is on theory of demand that you needed to understand i am now taking you into the next aspect of it which is called the theory of supply ye baatein aapko demand ke bare mein janni thi isse zyada janne ki koi zarurat nahi now i am taking you into the next aspect called theory of supply so remember main aapko prepare kar raha hu i am trying to prepare you to understand how market operates kisi bhi market mein ek demand side hota hai aur ek supply side hota hai the demand side is consumers willingness to pay consumers willingness to purchase and supply side is producers willingness to sell ek demand side hai jo consumer ki willingness to purchase bata raha hai ek supply side hoga jo producer ki willingness to sell batayega so there will be a demand side in the market and there will be a supply side in the market i am taking you into that so when you look at this deepesh weblen goods jo show off ke liye khareedte hain why not buying luxury handbags sakshi buying iphones which if you cannot use all its uh, all its features they are weblen goods i hope deepesh you understand that now which people buy only because they are costly it does affect demand ashi if people find more utility they will buy more for, more of the commodity they will be willing to pay more so utility affects the demand curve they are not commodities alok shares are not commodities don't forget all right now see supply is the quantity of a commodity that a producer is willing to sell at a given price and given point of time supply is the amount of the quantity of a commodity that a producer is willing to sell at a given price and given point of time that is what we call supply producer kya bechna chahta hai samajhna is baat ko please try understanding till now we were talking about what is the consumer willing to purchase so the story was from consumer's point of view now we are talking about what is the producer willing to sell so now the story is from producer's point of view abhi tak baat kar rahe the consumer kya khareedna chahte hain ab hum baat kar rahe hain producer kya bechna chahte hain till now we were talking what was the consumer willing to purchase now we are talking what is the producer willing to sell so whatever will be the willingness to sell of the producer at a given price and a given point of time that is what we call supply that is what we call supply please understand this now according to law of supply as price of a commodity 
increases quantity supplied increases and as price of the commodity decreases quantity supplied decreases assuming all other factors affecting supply remain constant. So, you know according to the law of supply as price of a commodity increases quantity supplied increases and as price of a commodity decreases quantity supplied decreases assuming all other factors affecting supply remain constant all right so remember if price of a commodity rises quantity supplied rises because the producer assumes that they can make more profit agar kisi cheez ki price badhti hai तो प्रोड्यूसर्स को वहाँ ज़्यादा प्रॉफिट नज़र आता है और इसके वजह से वो क्वांटिटी सप्लाइड बढ़ा देते हैं इफ़ द प्राइस ऑफ अ कमोडिटी राइजेस देन द प्रोड्यूसर कैन सी मोर प्रॉफिट इन इट ड्यू टू विच दे इंक्रीज द क्वांटिटी सप्लाइड सिमिलरली इफ़ द प्राइस ऑफ अ कमोडिटी फॉल्स देन द प्रोड्यूसर गेट्स लेस प्रॉफिट इन इट ड्यू टू विच दे रिड्यूस द क्वान्टिटी सप्लाइड अगर प्राइस बढ़ा तो प्रोड्यूसर के प्रॉफिट आने के चांसेस बढ़ गए जिसके वजह से वो सप्लाई बढ़ा देते हैं इफ प्राइस बिकम्स मोर देन द प्रोड्यूसर हैज मोर चांसेस ऑफ गेटिंग प्रॉफिट एंड ड्यू टू दैट द पर्सन इंक्रीजेस सप्लाई इफ द प्राइस बिकम्स लेस द प्रोड्यूसर रिड्यूसेस सप्लाई बिकॉज द चांसेस ऑफ प्रॉफिट ऑल्सो बिकम लेस दैट इज द लॉ ऑफ सप्लाई अगेन वी आर अज्यूमिंग दैट ऑल अदर फैक्टर्स अफेक्टिंग सप्लाई रिमेन कॉन्स्टेंट we are assuming that all other factors affecting supply remain constant so try understanding this the basic idea here is please try understanding this if you take price and if you take quantity supplied then as price rises from 10 to 20 to 30 quantity supplied rises from 50 to say 70 200 to jaise price badha producer ko laga unhe zyada profit mil sakte hain unhone supply badha di isiliye jab aap quantity supplied loge x axis pe then you will take quantity supplied on x axis price on y axis then as price rises from 10 to 20 to 30 quantity supplied rises from 50 one point is that to 70 another point is that 200 another point is that so when you join such points again 10 and 50 20 and 70 30 and 100 this becomes your supply curve supply curve shows the amount of quantity that a firm or a producer is willing to sell at a given price सप्लाई कर्व ये बताता है कि किसी भी प्राइस पर एक प्रोड्यूसर जो है वो कितना बेचना चाहता है और अगर प्राइस बढ़ेगा तो प्रोड्यूसर ज़्यादा बेचना चाहेगा क्योंकि उनको ज़्यादा प्रॉफिट मिलने के चांसेस होंगे एज प्राइस बिकम्स मोर द प्रोड्यूसर विल बी विलिंग टू सेल मोर बिकॉज द प्रोड्यूसर विल हैव द पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ मेकिंग लार्जर प्रॉफिट that is why with rise in price the supply can become higher that is the point to keep in mind because that someone will be very poor shrishti hence they will buy the poor quality goods 
No, because as the price decreases, the whole glamour is gone, Surya Dev. Okay, Ashutosh, but they are not under Veblen goods. It's a different thing, actually. Okay, antique goods, Radhika. Fair enough, but that, but 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 when we talk about things, we say all other factors remain constant. No, don't forget Shreya. Okay, so this is another aspect of it. This is about price and quantity supplied. This is about price and quantity supplied. Now, so so this is still here. Now. we talk about factors other than price affecting supply factors other than price affecting supply a commodity ke price ke alawa aur kaun se factors hain jo supply ko affect karte hain so factors other than price affecting supply you know factors other than price affecting supply so first factor here you know when we say factors other than price is technology agar technology achhi ho gayi to aap zyada produce kar sakte ho bina apne kharche badhaye if technology becomes more you can produce more without reducing increasing your expenditure so we say that an improvement in technology an improvement in technology leads to increase in supply as producer can produce more with similar or lesser cost that is expenditure on production which increases possibility of profit the best example is all the electronic goods that you see today anywhere in this world as technology improved the capacity to produce these electronic goods became more because the cost of production came down जब बनाने का खर्चा कम हो जाएगा तो प्रोड्यूसर ज्यादा बेचकर और प्रॉफिट कमा सकता है तो वो ज्यादा ज्यादा सेल करेंगे सप्लाई बढ़ाएंगे जब प्रोडक्शन कॉस्ट कम हो जाए व्हेन द कॉस्ट ऑफ प्रोड्यूसिंग अ कमोडिटी गोज डाउन देन द प्रोड्यूसर कैन सेल मोर एंड मोर इन द मार्केट सप्लाई मोर टू द मार्केट बिकॉज द प्रॉफिट कैन ऑल्सो बी हाइयर सो दिस इज वन फैक्टर दैट कम्स इन वेन वी टॉक सप्लाई दैट एज टेक्नोलॉजी इम्प्रूव इट्स सी an improvement in technology leads to increase in supply as producer can produce more with similar or lesser cost in technology improvement se supply badhti hai kyunki producer zyada produce kar sakte hain with similar cost cost is the expenditure on production jab kuch bhi aap produce karte ho usme jo aapka kharcha aata hai wo cost hai so next i is jab aapne teachers ko pay karte hain अपने लिए एक कैमरा खरीदते हैं एक डिजिटल बोर्ड खरीदते हैं एक बिल्डिंग अरेंज करते हैं ये सब नेक्स्ट आई का कॉस्ट है अगर टेक्नोलॉजी इम्प्रूव हो जाए और ये कॉस्ट कम हो जाए तो देन मोर कैन बी सप्लाइड सो कॉस्ट ऑफ प्रोडक्शन इज द एक्सपेंडिचर दैट अ फर्म डज ऑन प्रोडक्शन नाउ इफ टेक्नोलॉजी इम्प्रूव एंड दैट मीन्स लेसर कॉस्ट ऑफ प्रोडक्शन इज नीडेड देन इट इज पॉसिबल दैट द फर्म विल सप्लाई मोर सो एन इम्प्रूवमेंट इन टेक्नोलॉजी leads to higher supply in the market mobile phones television sets uh, 
you know uh, washing machine, refrigerator, they are all typical example of it that as technology went on becoming better, people started buying more of it and firms started supplying more of it. If you go into 1982, in 1982 color televisions were introduced in India and in those days those color televisions used to have only 10 channels. That was also not useful because India was showing only one channel that is Doordarshan and there was hardly much of a program that we had but still the price of that color television was 10,000. Now today you get much better deal than that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. So that is one example that, that you know, normal. Thank you. So if you look at technology, again I repeat, so television sets I 1982 mein 10,000 ke hote the, koi LED, LCD kuch bhi nahi, koi flat screen nahi, koi remote control nahi, 10 channel hote the unme. Now imagine that television for 10,000 rupees 40 years back, bad in quality, bulging screens, no LCD, LED, uh, no channel, extra channels, but that was because the technology was backward. As technology improved, better quality television started coming in and that also at a cheaper rate. That is the basic idea that I want you to understand. There is no law of demand in Veblen Goods Depeche. Shreya, the supply law is as price of a commodity increases the supply of that commodity will rise because producers expect more profit. I hope you are clear on that. No, you do not need to study that Gurjot, you can avoid. There will be more demand for Giffen goods during inflation Mridalini. During inflation, there will be more demand for Giffen goods. Akash asks me a question that many of you can have that if, sub, if price increases, demand will decrease then how can increasing supply help the producer? Please understand, price is increasing means people are demanding more in the market, otherwise there is no logic for price to increase. I hope Akash you are getting my point. So we are not bothered about demand here because demand is to be kept constant. Please remember that. Jab demand pad rahe the, to ye thodi kaha ki how, why will the producer supply more as price will fall, then how can the consumer consume more? Because waha bhi keh rahe na, all other factors remaining constant. So if all other factors remain constant, when we are studying supply, we do not bother about demand and when we are studying demand, we do not bother about supply. I hope Akash that clarifies. The supply is rising due to rise in price Sanchit. So why will price decrease due to rise in supply? Think about it. SS is supply in supply curve Pakpi. SS is representation of supply in supply curve. I hope Sachin tumhe tumhara jawab mil gaya. Main abhi Akash ko yahi baat explain kar raha tha ki supply aur demand ko mix mat karo. Uh, no Ajit, economies of scale is not applied here. I hope Sanchit you got the answer that if supply increases, why will the price decrease? Supply is rising due to rise in price. So why will price decrease due to rise in supply? Actually normal people will also not give it value Deepesh because Veblen price dropping means those commodities are no more the rich commodities. That can be one factor Pinkesh. Alright, so I hope all of you are clear. Please understand this. When you are studying supply, then you are not talking about demand because this is from producer's point of view. Producer kitna bechna chahega. To agar producer dekhega price bad rahi hai, so producer zyada bechna chahega. Isme is baat ka koi lena dena nahi hai ki consumer zyada kharidna chahega ya kam kharidna chahega. Consumer is not in picture here when you talk about price rising and supply rising. Like producer was not in the picture when we said as price falls demand will rise. So producer thodi bechenge zyada jab demand rise, price fall karega to. So it's about market. So I hope you don't mix it up. Keep, keep them separately in your mind. Demand is a discussion from consumer's side. Supply is a discussion from producer's side. Take it like that. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, that is the factor, Shreya. Why not? That can be a factor. 
no you don't need to do income and substitution effect disha avoid that that is that is that is not to be done from gs point of view you can avoid income and substitution effect okay let us see this now the second factor that affects supply the second factor that affects supply is cost of inputs if cost of inputs inputs are raw material jo inputs hai wo hai raw material so if cost of inputs increases it implies cost of inputs inputs are i again repeat raw material so if cost of inputs increases it implies that supply falls because it becomes costlier for producer to produce more for example think if oil prices rise and it becomes costlier for producer take it like this for example if price of oil seeds rises then supply of edible oil falls because input prices become higher in the market now that is one factor remember if price of oil seeds rises then supply of edible oil falls similarly remember if cost of inputs falls then supply of given commodity that is output will rise so remember if price of input rises demand supply of commodity falls if price of input falls supply of the given commodity rises praveen in that case the supply is rising due to other factors and not price in that case the supply is rising due to other factors and not price correct ankit so i repeat it again pragati you listen to this agar aapke raw materials costlier ho gaye to aapka production karna zyada mushkil ho jayega to aap supply kam karne lagoge aur agar aapke raw materials cheaper hai to aapka production karna aasan hai aap zyada supply karne lagoge if your raw materials become costlier it is more difficult to produce and because it is becoming costlier to produce you will supply less i gave you the example agar aapke oil seeds costly ho gaye to edible oil kam produce hoga agar aapka electricity costly ho gaya to manufacturing kam ho jayegi so any time if the cost of raw material rises it becomes more difficult to supply and if the cost of raw material falls it becomes easier to supply so that is the logic of cost of inputs i hope all of you are now clear on that now 
the third point is tax imposed on commodity if taxes increased on a commodity then its supply falls as producer considers taxes as extra expenditure if taxes imposed on a commodity then supply falls as producer considers taxes as extra expenditure and if tax is reduced on the commodity then supply rises agar ek commodity pe aap tax badhate ho to producer ko lagta hai mere aur kharche ho rahe if you increase tax on a commodity then the producer feels i am spending more on this commodity and then the producer will supply less of that commodity और अगर आप टैक्स कम करते हो तो आप प्रोड्यूसर को एनकरेज करते हो कि वो ज्यादा प्रोड्यूस कर सके सो हायर टैक्स दैट विल मीन लेसर इंपैक्ट ऑन कमोडिटी लेसर सप्लाई ऑफ कमोडिटी लोअर टैक्स इट विल मीन हायर सप्लाई ऑफ कमोडिटी हायर टैक्स लेसर सप्लाई ऑफ कमोडिटी लोअर टैक्स हायर सप्लाई ऑफ कमोडिटी because tax is taken like a burden by the producers producers ko lagta hai tax mere liye ek bojh hai to agar tax badhaya jata hai log apni commodity supply kam kar dete hain agar tax kam kiya jata hai log apni commodity supply badha dete hain that is the basic idea of increase and decrease in supply it applies to all the productions abhishek okay then there is this fourth point price of related goods in production ये आसान है समझना आप सुनना मेरी बात ध्यान से अगर एक प्रोड्यूसर है जो दो कमोडिटीज प्रोड्यूस कर रह सकते हैं यू नो इफ देर अ प्रोड्यूसर यू नो हु कैन प्रोड्यूस बटर एंड विथ सिमिलर इनपुट्स द पर्सन कैन आल्सो प्रोड्यूस चीज इसमें सब्सिट्यूट या कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री मत ढूंढना अभी जो डिस्कशन में कर रहा हूं डू नॉट लुक फॉर सब्सिट्यूट गुड्स एंड कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री गुड्स इन इट जस्ट लिसन टू इट एज अ सिस्टम दट सपोज देर इज अ प्रोड्यूसर ये एक प्रोड्यूसर है भाई साहब हमारे ये बटर भी प्रोड्यूस कर सकते हैं चीज भी प्रोड्यूस कर सकते हैं नाउ थिंक इफ प्राइस ऑफ बटर इंक्रीजेस देन producer will supply more butter and therefore there will be less supply of cheese agar ek commodity ka dam badh gaya तो प्रोड्यूसर उसे ही ज्यादा सप्लाई करने लगेगा और उसकी वजह से दूसरे कमोडिटी की सप्लाई कम हो जाएगी इफ द प्राइस ऑफ बटर इंक्रीजेस द प्रोड्यूसर विल स्टार्ट सप्लाइंग मोर बटर 
and then the produ then the com the producer will sell less in the market that is the basic idea of the other commodity so price of butter increases then producer will supply more butter and therefore there will be less supply of cheese that is for price of related goods in production price depends on quantity supplied praveen provided price change quantity supplied changes first here we are discussing that price changes you know first and then the supply is changing i hope it is clarifying to you not all taxes can be transferred to the consumers anurag consumers can choose to buy less so producers don't gain anything from the tax please don't forget that if today you are paying a gst to next ias next ias is not gaining anything from it so please understand this for next ias it's an added burden to collect the tax from you and then consumers can bargain that we don't want to pay this much tax so reduce the price and then deposit that tax with the government it's an added headache for the institution anybody who pays tax so please understand that so for the producer is also a burden because consumer may not be willing to take the entire burden of tax tomorrow if the 18% gst was not there next is could have charged you 10% extra and you would have paid 8% less and both of you would have been happier so that is what the tax does the tax becomes an added headache for the consumer and an added headache for the producer and therefore discourages the quantity supplied Uh, correct ajit uh, diljit then they will then they cannot again the, the whichever price increases more they will rise more of that no profit doesn't increase proportionally with tax increase avinash don't forget that profit doesn't increase proportionally with uh, you know tax increase so uh, yan actually these are some very basics so i want to cover them rather you know quickly so that i can take you into the main economics aspect of it bilkul yahi hoga bhaskar yahi hoga so remember if price of one commodity rises then the price of other supply of other commodity will rise if price of one commodity rises then supply of other commodity will rise if price of one commodity in production rises then that means the, sorry the supply of other commodity will fall so the so the relation is if price of one commodity like butter increases then producer will supply more of that commodity and therefore there will be less supply of the other commodity that is the basic idea of price of related goods in production so remember the factors affecting supply become price of the commodity technology if technology improves people will supply more if technology worsens people will supply less then cost of inputs agar raw material costly ho gaya to supply karna mushkil ho jayega agar raw material cheaper ho gaya to supply karna aasan ho jayega if raw material is costly then the firms will find it very difficult to supply because it becomes costly to produce if raw materials become cheaper the firms will find it easier to supply similarly if there is a tax imposed by the government the firms would like to collect that money from the consumers in the process they will reduce supply because the firms will say if you want to pay the same price we will give less supply to you because government is collecting tax from us so remember that is the basic idea of tax resulting in reduced supply you know think like this just for those of you who feel bothered about the second point and third point cost of input or raw material rises it reduces profit capacity of producer therefore 
apply false. This was the explanation for second point. Third, now think an increase in tax. What will the producer like to do? Focus on the board. I need you on the board with me to understand this point even better. Suppose this is your supply curve. You are willing to sell this Q1 quantity at this P1 price. Suppose 10 rupees. Suppose 100 units. Now you are telling the consumer that look, the government is charging a tax 2 rupees. Either you pay 12 rupees to buy these 100 units and if you will pay 10 rupees, we will be willing to sell less, something like 80 units. This is decrease in supply. Producer will say, ya to zyada paise do, tab to utne commodity dete hain, kyunki sarkar humse tax le rahi hai, aur agar kam paise doge, to hum quantity supplied kam kar denge. This is the decrease in supply due to increase in tax. This is the decrease in supply due to increase in tax. I hope now you are clear. But you have not filed income tax to next IAS. You have paid GST Praveen. No, don't, don't forget businesses cannot settle their GST on output sold. They can settle their GST on input purchases. Please recall that Swamya. No, for point 0.4 we are assuming that we are taking the same type of resources for both. That will happen in the next time period Arun. Again remember, if, if supply becomes more, if there is a shift in supply curve, then there will be abundance of goods. But if price is rising, there is already a demand due to which price is rising, no Sanchit? Correct Ashutosh? Advertisements can attract consumers deeper, demand will shift to the right. Uh, again, Rigzin, that will be about placing your commodity as a Webland good. The producer wants to tell the consumer, I have a premium product and in that case, the cost of production will also be high. So, take it as that Rigzin. Yes, Anurag, if price is constant, then supply will fall. Okay, I hope you are in sync on these talks then. So, now what we do, these are the factors affecting supply and factors affecting demand and demand curve and supply curve. Now I am taking you into one more concept which will hopefully clear many other things in your mind. Just say, you are asking supply to increase, price to increase, price to increase, supply to increase, price 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 to So we call it equilibrium in the market. the quantity at which the willingness to pay of the consumer matches the willingness to sell of the producer, it is called equilibrium in the market. Suppose a commodity hai, aap sunte rana dhyan se. Suppose a commodity hai, say apple, 
and say we take quantity of apple here we take price of apple now suppose this is the demand curve for apple what the consumers are willing to pay and this is the supply curve of apple what the producers are willing to sell now we claim that wherever the two intersect suppose if this is the quantity at this price there is equilibrium this point if we call it e equilibrium i'll explain this to you you keep listening equilibrium takes place where demand curve intersects supply curve jahan par bhi demand curve aur supply curve ek dusre ko intersect karte hain wohi point equilibrium hota hai the place where demand curve and supply curve intersect is equilibrium why if this is say 100 units to ye 100 apple ke liye कंज्यूमर कहते हैं मैं दस रुपए दूंगा और प्रोड्यूसर भी कह रहे हैं मुझे दस रुपए चाहिए द कंज्यूमर सेज आई वॉन्ट टेन रुपीज फॉर दीज हंड्रेड एप्पल्स एंड द प्रोड्यूसर ऑल्सो सेज आई एम विलिंग टू पे टेन रुपीज फॉर दीज हंड्रेड एप्पल्स एंड दैट इज वॉट वी से डिमांड कर्व एंड सप्लाई कर्व इंटरसेक्टिंग ईच अदर इज इक्लिबेरियम ना कंज्यूमर कुछ अलग करना चाहते हैं ना प्रोड्यूसर कुछ अलग करना चाहते हैं If the consumers don't want to change their position and the producers don't want to change their position, we say that we are in equilibrium. If the consumers don't want to change their position and the producers don't want to change their position, then we can claim that we are in equilibrium. That is what is happening over here. That there is equilibrium where the consumer has no reason to change their position and producer have no reason to change their position. अब मैं तुम्हें सिखा रहा हूँ कि यही equilibrium क्यों है और यहां तक हम पहुंचते कैसे हैं आई एम ट्राइंग टू टीच यू दैट वाई डू वी कॉल दिस एज इक्लिबेरियम एंड हाउ डू वी रीच दिस इक्लिबेरियम प्लीज ट्राई अंडरस्टैंडिंग दैट इट्स एज ट्रेडिशन अनवर डिमांड एंड सप्लाई इज टेकन ऑन एक्स एक्सेस एज ट्रेडिशन सप्लाई कर विल शिफ्ट बिकॉज ऑफ फैक्टर्स अदर देन प्राइस गुरजोत Yes, the tax shifts the supply curve, Yuvraj. Any factor other than price will shift the the curves. Yes, Abhishek, it will be covered. All right. Now, please understand. We take case one. If price. in the market if price in the market is above equilibrium price see the case goes like this if we take quantity and we take price and we take demand and supply suppose if the price is here p1 aap board pe dekhte rehna ye important hai that will mean the quantity demanded is this much d1 and quantity supplied is this much s1 agar zyada price ho gaye equilibrium se हमें यह पता है कि ये इक्लिबेरियम प्राइस है लेट्स कॉल इट पी स्टार ये इक्लिबेरियम पॉइंट है ई वन अगर प्राइस इस इक्लिबेरियम से ज्यादा हो गया तो उसका रिजल्ट ये है दैट डिमांड इज लेस एंड सप्लाई इज मोर इफ द प्राइस इज मोर देन द रिजल्ट इज डिमांड इज लेस एंड सप्लाई इज मोर दिस इज वॉट वी आर कॉलिंग एज एक्सेस सप्लाई इसका नाम हम बोलते हैं एक्सेस सप्लाई आपको एक एग्जाम्पल देता हूं आप समझ जाओगे सोचो अगर मैं लू प्राइस क्वांटिटी डिमांडेड 
and quantity supplied. Think now, if the price is say 10, 20 and 30, quantity demanded is 100, 70 and 20 and quantity supplied is say 30, 70 and 90. कुछ अपनी मर्जी से मैंने नंबर्स लिख दिए। I've just used my own will. What I've only tried keeping in mind is, as price becomes more, demand becomes less. As price becomes more, supply becomes more. बस यही ध्यान रखा मैंने। अब देखो क्या हो रहा है। If this price is taken to be thirty rupees, then in that case, demand at thirty rupees is only twenty units, but supply at thirty rupees is 90 units. You know, dekho, is 30 rupees pe, demand jo hai, wo to BC unit hai, supply 90 units hai. So, higher supply than demand, we are calling it excess supply. Supply zyada ho gaya, demand kam, to aise situation ko kaha ja raha hai, excess supply. When supply is more, demand is less, we are calling it excess supply. Ab excess supply mein kya hoga, aap socho? Due to excess supply, the firms now have unsold commodity, you know. So, under excess supply, the firms have unsold commodities. or unsold stock therefore they are willing ab chuki inke paas unsold stock hai they are willing to reduce the price of commodity firms kehte hain bhai dekho saman bik nahi raha तो हम प्राइस कम करने को तैयार हैं। The firms are willing to reduce price of the commodity in the market. All right, the firms are willing to reduce price of the commodity in the market. जैसे ये firms प्राइस कम करना शुरू करेंगे, new consumers will enter the market. As the price falls, there will be expansion of demand because new consumers will enter the market. I repeat, as price falls, there will be expansion of demand because new consumers will enter the market. As price falls, there will be expansion of demand because new consumers will enter the market. Jaise price girna shuru hoga, nai consumers market mein aayenge, kyunki price gir raha hai, consumers attract ho raha hai. So, as the price falls, new consumers will come to the market and due to that there will be expansion of demand. So, what we can claim here is with fall in price there will be expansion of demand kyunki nai consumers market mein aane lag gaye with fall in price there will be expansion of demand because the new consumers are now getting into the market along with that one more thing will happen some producers who were willing to sell only at a higher price kuch producers jo ki sirf higher price pe hi bechne ko taiyar the wo ab market chhod kar jane lagenge. Some producers who were willing to sell only at a higher price will now start leaving the market and going away. Some producers who were willing to sell only at a higher price will now start leaving the market and going away. So, that will lead to contraction of supply. Ab dekho, ye supply kam hone lag jayegi. Contraction of supply. So, we say with fall in price, there will be with fall in price, there will be contraction of supply. Contraction of supply kyun hoga? 
बिकॉज जो प्रोड्यूसर्स हायर प्राइस पे बेचना चाह रहे थे वो मार्केट छोड़कर जाने लग जाएंगे कॉन्ट्रैक्शन ऑफ सप्लाई क्यों होगा वाई विल देयर बी अ कॉन्ट्रैक्शन ऑफ सप्लाई बिकॉज दोज प्रोड्यूसर्स हु वर विलिंग टू सेल ओनली एट अ हायर प्राइस विल नाउ लीव द मार्केट एंड गो अवे दोज प्रोड्यूसर्स हु वर विलिंग टू सेल ओनली एट अ हायर प्राइस विल नाउ लीव द मार्केट एंड गो अवे दैट विल रिजल्ट इन कॉन्ट्रैक्शन ऑफ सप्लाई सो यू हैव एक्सपेंशन ऑफ डिमांड एंड यू हैव कॉन्ट्रैक्शन ऑफ सप्लाई यू हैव एक्सपेंशन ऑफ डिमांड एंड यू हैव कॉन्ट्रैक्शन ऑफ सप्लाई हो क्या रहा है पहले आपके पास आया एक्सेस सप्लाई प्राइस जो है बहुत हाई हो गया सिंस द प्राइस बिकेम वेरी हाई ड्यू टू दैट डिमांड बिकेम लेस सप्लाई बिकेम मोर सी डिमांड बिकेम ट्वेंटी सप्लाई बिकेम नाइनटी लुकिंग एट दिस नाउ द प्रोड्यूसर्स हैव अनसोल्ड स्टॉक्स प्रोड्यूसर्स के पास सामान है जो कोई खरीद नहीं रहा सो हम सम प्रोड्यूसर्स से लेट अस रिड्यूस द प्राइस समबडी विल बाय इट दे स्टार्ट रिड्यूसिंग द प्राइस इन द मार्केट एज दीज प्रोड्यूसर्स रिड्यूस द प्राइस इन द मार्केट इट विल रिजल्ट इन इंक्रीजिंग क्वांटिटी डिमांडेड एक्सपेंशन जैसे प्राइस कम होगा लॉ ऑफ डिमांड ऑपरेट करेगा और सप्लाई को डिमांड बढ़ने लग जाएगी सो एज प्राइस फॉल्स डिमांड राइज एंड एज प्राइस फॉल्स लॉ ऑफ सप्लाई विल ऑपरेट देर विल बी कॉन्ट्रेक्शन ऑफ सप्लाई एंड सप्लाई विल ऑल्सो फॉल एंड ऑल दिस विल कंटिन्यू टिल यू रीच दिस इक्लिबेरियम वेर यू रीच दिस क्वान्टिटी सेवेंटी एंड प्राइस ट्वेंटी वेर सी द विलिंगनेस टू सेल ऑफ द कंज्यूमर मैचेज द विलिंगनेस टू बाई ऑफ द प्रोड्यूसर you reach this price 20 quantity is 70 where the willingness to sell of the consumer matches the willingness to purchase of the producer willingness to sell of the consumer matches willingness to purchase of the producer so this is the basic idea of equilibrium agar excess supply hai to price girega kisi bhi cheez ki supply agar zyada hui to uska price kam hoga ye abhi aap log mujhe pooch rahe the इस सिचुएशन से पूछ रहे थे ऑल राइट इफ एनी थिंग हैज हायर सप्लाई देन डिमांड देन प्राइस विल फॉल सो रिमेंबर इफ द प्रोड्यूसर्स आर इंक्रीजिंग देयर प्राइस एंड सप्लाई इट मींस देयर मस्ट एग्जिस्ट डिमांड अगर डिमांड नहीं है और आपने एक्सेस सप्लाई किया तो उस केस में प्राइस फॉल करेंगे तब तक जब तक आप वापस इक्लिबेरियम में नहीं आ जाते इफ द प्राइस इज वेरी हाई and you have excess supply then the price will keep falling till you don't come into equilibrium that is one factor to keep in mind then remember the second factor to keep in mind the second factor to keep in mind is the case 2 opposite situation to it when you have excess demand correct pravin i hope it is clear now शीतल बोर्ड पे देखो क्या हो रहा है डिमांड घट गए घटा नहीं प्राइस बहुत ज्यादा बढ़ गया और प्राइस जब बढ़ा तो प्रोड्यूसर ने सप्लाई बढ़ा दिया जब प्रोड्यूसर ने सप्लाई बढ़ा दिया एक्सेस सप्लाई हो गई तो प्रोड्यूसर देख रहे हैं उनका सामान नहीं बिक रहा तो वो प्राइस कम करते हैं जिसकी वजह से डिमांड बढ़ती है और इसके वजह से सप्लाई भी घटती है और वापिस आप इक्लिबेरियम में आते हो शीतल आई होप यू गेट द पॉइंट नाउ You can use this slide for equilibrium, Radhika. Supply may or may not pass through origin, Shiv, uh, Shivika. If both don't want to change their position, then there will be no equilibrium, Ajit. In equilibrium, demand is equal to supply. no that is not necessary you've raised that there always exists an equilibrium but we don't have to go in those details perfect dipesh thank you that you are clear on this so sheetal i hope you are clear on this now so remember i repeat again for those of you who missed it when you talk equilibrium i repeat again jab aap equilibrium bolte ho 
उसका मतलब डिमांड और सप्लाई इंटरसेक्ट कर गए वहाँ इक्लिबेरियम हो गया ऑल राइट इक्लिबेरियम टेक्स प्लेस वेयर डिमांड कर्व इंटरसेक्ट द सप्लाई कर्व बिकॉज वॉट एवर द कंज्यूमर इज विलिंग टू पे द प्रोड्यूसर इज विलिंग टू चार्ज देन आई टोल्ड यू इफ यू हैव अ सिचुएशन ऑफ एक्सेस सप्लाई क्यों आया यह सिचुएशन ऑफ एक्सेस सप्लाई क्योंकि प्राइस अब अब इक्लिबेरियम हो गई बिल्कुल जिंदा रह के मेरी बात सुनते रहोगे सब लोग मैंने केस वन लिया इफ प्राइस इन द मार्केट इज अब इक्लिबेरियम प्राइस अगर मार्केट का प्राइस इक्लिबेरियम से ज्यादा हो गया ऑल राइट सो दिस इज अ केस आई हैव क्रिएटेड अगर मार्केट का प्राइस इक्लिबेरियम से ज्यादा हो गया तो क्या होगा सो इफ प्राइस इन द मार्केट इज अब द इक्लिबेरियम प्राइस देन दैट विल रिजल्ट you know if price in the market is above the equilibrium price then that will result in demand becoming less supply becoming more sheetal i hope you are getting it now ye maine example diya tha agar aapka price 30 rupaye ho gaya to aapka demand ho jayega 20 aur supply ho jayega 90 to supply 70 zyada ho gaya that is excess supply ki demand jo hai wo kam hai supply zyada ho gaya kyunki producer aur consumer ko ye 30 rupees dikh rahe hain मार्केट में यहां एक्सेस सप्लाई की वजह से प्रोड्यूसर्स अपना प्राइस कम करने लगे ड्यू टू एक्सेस सप्लाई प्रोड्यूसर्स स्टार्ट रिड्यूसिंग द प्राइस एज दे रिड्यूस द प्राइस न्यू कंज्यूमर्स विल एंटर द मार्केट डिमांड इन द मार्केट विल स्टार्ट राइजिंग बट एज प्राइस फॉल्स इन द मार्केट लॉ ऑफ सप्लाई विल ऑल्सो ऑपरेट सम प्रोड्यूसर्स हु अर्लियर विलिंग टू सेल विल नाउ स्टार्ट लीविंग द मार्केट and all this will continue till you reach equilibrium i hope all of you are then clear on this to some extent that is law of supply kamini contraction of supply is when supply falls due to fall in price sambit Yes, if demand curve and supply curves are linear, then it's unique, Yuvraj. Unless they don't change, it is all dependent on the market abhishek. If market has excess supply, then producers can will be willing to reduce their price. Now I am teaching you case two. You try understanding that. Now I am teaching you case two. Try understanding that. Case two is case two. if there is excess demand in the market when price is below equilibrium if there is excess demand in the market when price is below equilibrium all right agar aapka price equilibrium se niche aa jata hai you know then it will results result in an excess demand you know then it will result in excess demand so think like this if you take a quantity you take a price suppose you take demand curve you take supply curve and price is low say p1 man lo movie hall mein price kam hai usme supply kam ho rahi hai s1 demand zyada ho raha hai d1 ab iska matlab yahan kya situation hai agar main aapko wapas price क्वान्टिटी डिमांडेड क्वान्टिटी सप्लाइड लेके दूँ टेन रुपीज प्राइस पे डिमांड इज हंड्रेड सप्लाई इज ट्वेंटी सो दिस इज सेवेंटी एंड सेवेंटी सो नाउ दिस इज टेन रुपीज प्राइस सप्लाई इज ट्वेंटी डिमांड इज हंड्रेड सो हायर डिमांड लेसर सप्लाई दिस इज कॉल्ड एक्सेस डिमांड जब मार्केट में डिमांड ज़्यादा हुआ वो हुआ एक्सेस डिमांड 
अगर तुम्हें प्रैक्टिकली सोचना है तो ऐसे सोचो जिस समय में टाइम होता है किसी फेस्टिवल का तो उससे रिलेटेड चीज़ों का प्राइस बढ़ जाता है इफ़ देर इज़ दशहरा द प्राइस ऑफ थिंग्स रिलेटेड विल राइज इफ देर इज ईद द प्राइस ऑफ थिंग्स रिलेटेड विल राइज इफ देर इज दिवाली द प्राइस ऑफ थिंग्स रिलेटेड विल राइज इफ देर इज क्रिसमस द प्राइस ऑफ थिंग्स रिलेटेड विल राइज वाई बिकॉज एवरीबडी इज डिमांडिंग दोज कमोडिटीज सिंस एवरीबडी इज डिमांडिंग दोज कमोडिटीज द प्रोड्यूसर्स फील राइट राइट नाउ इज द टाइम टू चार्ज अ लिटल मोर बिकॉज द प्राइस इज बिलो द इक्लिबेरियम प्राइस आई हैव एक्सेस डिमांड सिमिलरली इफ देर इज ऑफ सीजन देर इज एक्सेस सप्लाई सो प्रोड्यूसर्स स्टार्ट रिड्यूसिंग द प्राइस आपको होटल वाले हैप्पी आर देने लगते हैं टूरिज्म वाले हैप्पी आर देने लगते हैं कमोडिटी सेलर्स कहते हैं आपको 20 परसेंट डिस्काउंट है 40 परसेंट डिस्काउंट है तो ये डिस्काउंट तरीके हैं प्राइस कम करने के जब एक्सेस सप्लाई फील होती है और प्रीमियम चार्जेस तरीके हैं प्राइस बढ़ाने के जब एक्सेस डिमांड होता है रियल वर्ल्ड इट फंक्शंस लाइक दैट दैट पीपल कैन चार्ज यू प्रीमियम व्हेन दे नो दैट द डिमांड इज मोर लाइक एयर एयरलाइंस कैन चार्ज यू हायर टिकट प्राइस इन अ बिजी सीजन बिकॉज दे नो दैट द डिमांड फॉर एयर टिकट इज मोर एंड एंड सिमिलरली इन अ स्लैक सीजन द एयरलाइंस चार्ज यू लेसर बिकॉज दे नो दैट द डिमांड इज लेस तो जब सप्लाई ज्यादा प्राइस कम होगी जब सप्लाई कम प्राइस बढ़ जाएगी आई होप यू गेट द ट्यूनिंग नाउ they will they will ask you i hope suresh you got the example perfect thank you all the questions will be on application sahil which i am teaching you jo main padha raha hu na what will happen if price is above equilibrium then you will say there will be excess supply what will happen if price is below equilibrium you will say there is excess demand no the government doesn't follow equilibrium law saurabh government can fix prices above or below well puja actually the informations are there with the firms plus the market starts supplying these information to you these informations are there with the firms plus the market also starts supplying this information to you all right now see what will happen consumers will feel the shortage consumers will feel the shortage due to excess demand and some of them unme se kuch log will be willing to pay more तो कंज्यूमर्स प्राइस बढ़ाना शुरू कर देंगे डोंट फॉरगेट ये इक्लिबेरियम है ट्वेंटी रुपीज तो जब कंज्यूमर्स देखेंगे कि शॉर्टेज है तो प्राइस बढ़ाना शुरू कर देंगे एज देर फोर प्राइस विल राइज अब जैसे प्राइस बढ़ेगा इट विल रिजल्ट इन एक्सपेंशन ऑफ सप्लाई लॉ ऑफ सप्लाई ऑपरेट करेगा एज सून एज द प्राइस विल राइज इट विल रिजल्ट इन एक्सपेंशन ऑफ सप्लाई बिकॉज लॉ ऑफ सप्लाई विल ऑपरेट द प्रोड्यूसर्स विल रिस्पॉन्ड बाई इंक्रीजिंग देयर सप्लाई वेन प्रोड्यूसर्स विल सी दैट प्राइस इज राइजिंग देन प्रोड्यूसर्स विल रिस्पॉन्ड बाई इंक्रीजिंग देयर सप्लाई वेन प्रोड्यूसर्स विल सी दैट प्राइस इज राइजिंग then producers will respond by increasing their supply and some consumers who were willing to pay lesser price will now will now leave the market and go away jaise ticket ki black marketing mein hota hai ki jab jaise ticket ki black marketing shuru hoti hai kuch consumers high price dene ko taiyar ho jate hain aur baki consumers market chhod kar chale jate hain so some consumers who are not willing to pay the high price will leave the market and go so demand will start reducing and there will be contraction of demand so the rise in price will lead to expansion of supply and contraction of demand the rise in price will lead to expansion of supply and contraction of demand and with this expansion of supply and contraction of demand we will again finally reach equilibrium 
तो इक्लिबेरियम एडजस्टमेंट का तरीका क्या है समझना आप ध्यान से इक्लिबेरियम एडजस्टमेंट का तरीका क्या है दैट इधर देर विल बी हायर प्राइस देन इक्लिबेरियम इन दैट केस देर विल बी एक्सेस सप्लाई एंड प्राइस विल स्टार्ट फॉलिंग इधर देर विल बी अ हायर प्राइस देन इक्लिबेरियम इन दैट केस देर विल बी एक्सेस सप्लाई एंड प्राइस विल स्टार्ट फॉलिंग और देर विल बी एक्सेस डिमांड इन इक्लिबेरियम इन दैट केस द प्राइस विल राइज एंड फाइनली द इक्लिबेरियम विल बी रीच तो इक्लिबेरियम पहुंचने का तरीका क्या हुआ या तो एक्सेस सप्लाई होगा जिसकी वजह से प्राइस फॉल करने लगेगा या फिर एक्सेस डिमांड होगा जिसकी वजह से प्राइस राइज करने लगेगा तो इक्लिबेरियम में इन दोनों में से कुछ भी हो सकता है इक्लिबेरियम पहुंचने के लिए इधर द प्राइस कैन बी हायर देन द मार्केट प्राइस दैट कैन लीड टू एक्सेस सप्लाई और द प्राइस कैन बी लोअर देन द मार्केट प्राइस एंड दैट कैन लीड टू एक्सेस डिमांड सो इवन इफ गवर्नमेंट इज फिक्सिंग द प्राइस गवर्नमेंट शुड मेक श्योर दैट दे हैव अरेंजमेंट्स टू कीप द प्राइस फिक्सड सोचो अगर सरकार ने कहा कि किसी कमोडिटी का प्राइस इसके ऊपर नहीं जा सकता If the government fixes this as the maximum price, saying that we will not let this price rise more than this much, that will result in shortage, excess demand, creating a very much possibility or high possibility of black marketing. So either the government should have the administrative capacity that black marketing can be controlled. Either the government should have the administrative capacity that black marketing should be controlled. Ya to hamare जो एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन है उनके अंदर इतनी हालत होनी चाहिए कि ब्लैक मार्केटिंग ना होने दें नहीं तो ऐसे सिचुएशन में ही ब्लैक मार्केटिंग होने की संभावनाएं बढ़ जाती हैं इन दीज सिचुएशंस द पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ ब्लैक मार्केटिंग स्टार्ट्स बिकमिंग हायर सो रिमेंबर एंड इफ द गवर्नमेंट थिंक्स दैट दे कैन कंट्रोल द मार्केट बाई सिंपली फिक्सिंग द प्राइस इट्स अ बैड आइडिया बिकॉज द मार्केट के नॉट बी कंट्रोल्ड by simply fixing the price you need administrative authority to control it it's very difficult micro level pe individual level pe kaun se individual kya kaam kar rahe hain aap sabhi ke ghar mein police wala nahi bitha sakta aur wo bhi honest police wala jo bribe bina le mushkil hai ye to isliye aapko bahut soch samajh ke aise plan banane chahiye you cannot make a policeman sit in everybody's house and that also an honest policeman so you will have to be very careful while making the rules that if you deliberately fix the price much below the market price then some people will start doing black marketing recall the covid uh, covid medicine black marketing last year in the delta phase when there was a medicine shortage and government had fixed an upper price limit so the market the, the medicines were sold in the black market and unfortunately the administrative machinery was was not able to do much about it so these are these are failures of machinery that get reflected if you try pushing the price too much below the equilibrium similarly लेबर मार्केट में कभी कभी तुम देखोगे समटाइम्स यू विल सी इन लेबर मार्केट दैट अ वेरी हाई वैल्यू इज फिक्स्ड दैट हाई वेज रेट विल बी फिक्स्ड इंडिया में तो बहुत ही कॉमनली ये गवर्नमेंट्स को बड़ा अच्छा लगता है अनाउंस करने में मिनिमम वेज इज थर्टीन थाउजेंड फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन थाउजेंड बट देन एट दैट मिनिमम वेज द फर्म्स आर सब डिमांडिंग वेरी लेस जो 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 एम्प्लॉयर्स हैं वो वर्कर्स को उतना वेज देने को तैयार नहीं तो एक्सेस सप्लाई ऑफ लेबर हो जाता है more workers willing to work at that wage but not that that many employment of uh, that much of employment and that results in unemployment becoming a problem and then some workers who cannot find their job in the market are forced to work at a much lesser wage than the minimum wage law i am just explaining that to you hopefully you will get my point easily think if i take labor here you know that is workers working in the market and if i take wage here that how much wage you are paying this worker if i take this as the demand for worker and if i take this as the supply of worker and imagine if the government fixes a minimum wage at w1 now this is the demand for worker the firms are demanding pretty less this is the supply of worker the supply is quite a bit and this creates अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट जो एक्स्ट्रा वर्कर सप्लाइड हैं वो एक तरह से क्या हुए अनएम्प्लॉयड अब ये वर्कर्स के पास कोई चारा नहीं दीज वर्कर्स आर द अनएम्प्लॉयड वंस 
they do not have much of a records, they will have to work at a lesser wage, again not a very good idea to push a very high minimum wage. A good idea is rather encourage more production and increase demand for workers. If you develop entrepreneurship, if you promote more business, then you are increasing the demand for workers. Now that is a much better idea than, than, than you know fixing a minimum wage. That is a much better idea than fixing the minimum wage. So that is my point that I am trying to tell you that when you talk about a minimum wage law, please keep this in mind that the minimum wage law should not be fixed so high that it becomes very difficult for the workers to then find jobs for themselves. I hope you are getting these applications. Equilibrium will be achieved uh, Abhishek, yes black marketing of LPG, it, it will be both Rahul, producers and consumers both will operate. Equilibrium is the place where demand and supply intersect. Usha, I hope you understood the case 2 part, otherwise I will repeat again. The, the case 2 I told you was, if there is excess demand, you know the case 2 I told you is, if there is excess demand. So, if there is excess demand, then, the, then that is because price is below equilibrium, then the consumers will feel the shortage due to excess demand and some of them will be willing to pay more. So, price will start rising, as price starts rising, producers will supply more, law of supply and some consumers will leave the market. So, demand will fall, law of demand and all that will continue till we reach equilibrium. I hope Usha it explains. That is the problem Praveen that you already have a minimum wage criteria, I repeat Praveen, we already have a minimum wage criteria which is flouted because people are, are running short of jobs. So, the idea should be to create more jobs rather than fix a minimum wage which is not implemented. I hope Praveen you get the point. Yes, equilibrium is achievable in the real world Ashutosh. Yes, okay, B part is okay. Perfect, Varsha, thank you. So, now we go further. I am now introducing to you another concept. I am just introducing that concept to you today. I will not push much to you in one day. Bohat zyada nahi thusunga mein ek din mein aapke poopar. Par ek concept sikha raha hoon aapko, introduce kar raha hoon. The concept is called gross domestic product. Ab samajhna isko jane se pehle, jab aap kehte ho na micro economics aur jab aap kehte ho macro economics, micro economics is study of individual units. For example, price of a commodity income of a consumer profit earned by a company all these things are microeconomics you know study of individual units example price of a commodity income of a consumer profit earned by a company all that is an example of microeconomics and macroeconomics is study of aggregates jab aap total ko study karte ho for example national income puri country ka nikaloge inflation price increase in all the products nikaloge budget you know all this is macroeconomics. So, when you study the economy as a whole, 
you call it macroeconomics when you study individual units in an economy you call it microeconomics jab aap pure economy ko padhte ho use kehte hain macroeconomics aur jab aap individual units ko padhte ho use kehte hain microeconomics all right keep that in mind to begin with so gdp kind of a thing is macroeconomics demand supply production possibility curve they are on the horizon of microeconomics that is how we can keep it in mind the real world is working on equilibrium no doubt or oh, there exists minimum wage criteria anjali don't worry all these applications i will be discussing with you when i am teaching you particular topics just now i was giving you just an idea of how this is working in the real world bilkul chinta mat karo minimum wage ki baat karunga jab employment padhaunga aur maximum price fixation ki baat karunga jab agriculture padhaunga so when i will teach you agriculture i will teach you the application of how a maximum price can be fixed becomes a problem and minimum wage law i will teach you when i will teach you employment so don't worry at all we will be doing these topics and i will be covering it with you so don't worry at all about things okay fair enough mayank wage labor curve is if demand is more than supply remember if supply is more than demand if you fix a high wage uh, 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 arun if you fix a high wage and supply is more than demand it will result in excess supply all right that is the basic idea okay then i will just introduce you to the definition see when we say gross domestic product aap iska ek definition likh lo total value of final goods and services produced in an economy or produced in domestic territory of an economy produced in domestic territory of an economy in a given accounting year aap bas ye definition aaj ke liye rakho main janta hu maine aapko kafi kuch padhaya hai aap ise zarur revise karoge jo revise nahi karega nark mein uske liye alag se kadhai ki vyavastha hai तो इसीलिए जरूर रिवाइज करोगे डू रिवाइज वॉट यू हैव टू वॉट आई हैव टॉट यू टूडे देर इज अ लॉट दैट वी हैव डन टूडे आई नो डू रिवाइज एंड टूमोरो वी विल बिगिन फ्रॉम हियर सो टूडे वी विल कीप इट टिल दिस दैट वॉट इज जी डी पी जस्ट द डेफिनेशन ऑफ दैट विल सी आई सी यू टूमोरो देन टूमोरो वी विल बिगिन फ्रॉम हियर थैंक यू हैव अ ग्रेट नाइट बाय बाय agriculture is not different from economics at all rajkamal there is a hell lot of economics in agriculture actually inflation is the result of disequilibrium puja when you have lot of demand or or very less supply then inflation happens they all happen together abhishek demand and supply happen together and price comes along with that thank you ashutosh for getting the joke thank you anurag i included in the class diksha don't worry at all <laughs> thank you varsha thank you desh deepak perfect asutosh kumbh pakam dand sahi baat hai aniket wahi milega thank you yuvraj thanks juned thanks a lot dipesh good night akash thank you shraddha Thanks a lot, Sheetal. Thank you. Thank you, Tarishi. Thank you, Mayank. Thanks a lot, Ashutosh.
गुड नाइट आशुतोष थैंक यू अंकित थैंक यू आस्था थैंक यू अनुष्का आई एम सो सॉरी थैंक यू अंशुलिका मिस योर नेम आई एम सो सॉरी थैंक यू अंशुलिका थैंक यू सृष्टि गुड नाइट वर्षा सी यू टुमारो थैंक यू मानसी थैंक्स अ लॉट पाकपी आई थिंक मे बी द स्माइल इज बिकॉज ऑफ दैट थैंक्स अ लॉट पूजा मीन्स अ लॉट गुड नाइट सृष्टि थैंक्स अ लॉट अभिषेक नॉट येट अनुराग यू जस्ट रेफर टू द क्लास डिस्कशन दैट विल बी सफिशियंट थैंक यू अंजलि मैक्रो इकोनॉमिक स्लाइड गुड नाइट अजीत थैंक यू उदित शेयर मार्केट इज माइक्रो वेन यू टेक द शेयर ऑफ अ पर्टिक्युलर फर्म एंड इफ यू टेक शेयर मार्केट ऑफ इंडिया देन मैक्रो गुड गुड नाइट उदित थैंक यू राधिका explain what himanshu you tell me i can explain it thanks a lot saurav thank you shreya thanks a lot abhishek thank you astha sonu please see the recordings for the first slide thank you pragati thanks a lot atmana thank you vishal gradually you will get the habit abhishek don't worry bye anurag good night vini thanks a lot manpreet thank you shivika perfect lokesh why not thank you uh, karaj thanks a lot yogita thank you rajkamal thanks a lot namita thank you you will get a place more than swarg saurav don't worry because the government will fix it like that when you talk about a minimum wage law the government fixes the minimum wage above the equilibrium and that will result in unemployment because more labor will be supplied than demand so i suggested that let the government focus on business development agar entrepreneurship develop kara de to minimum wage ki zarurat hi nahi padegi kyunki itna demand hoga workers ke liye ki jo wage hum chahte hain unhe mile wo milne lag jayega that is the logic i feel you get it now i hope uh, tarun you got it thank you lucifer <laughs> ajit it uh, you guys are the reason immense pleasure to meet you all thanks a lot rinku good night malik arjun equilibrium case 1 is when there is when there is excess supply ek bar isko revise karna himanshu fir mujhse puchna all right just revise it once that if price is higher than equilibrium price there will be excess supply and that excess supply will mean that demand will be much higher your supply will be much higher so producers will have unsold stock they will start reducing their stock their price and then consumers will start buying more but supply will fall because some producers will now leave the market and it will it will continue till you reach equilibrium asta the zoom sessions do happen don't worry thank you rakesh black marketing can be controlled by shifting the supply curve to the right or by making administration uh, you know stronger thank you sonu for the understanding thanks a lot thanks a lot smriti means a lot this theory apply on goods and services both surya dev but goods it they apply even more in services there just might be a little bit of change thank you imanshu i hope you got the explanation imanshu now you revise you will get it easily good night suresh ankit uh, if you could please see that slide in the uh, video record the recorded video that you will get that will be better isi bahane tumhare pura revision ho jayega ek bar us slide ko recorded video mein dekhna
Okay, so I am not getting much of the text from your side now. So I am saying good night to you. I will meet you tomorrow, 6 o'clock then. We will begin from here. Have a great night. Bye bye. I am disconnecting. Thank you.